Noah Sawyer here. <laughs> um, what did Tiendo say about atheism? They said it was a, uh, it could be a, as good of a path as everything else to get into and get out of. Ultimately, if uh, um, if you're willing to uh, see uh, gravitate towards something that is uh, comes along that approaches you that seems to be more all-inclusive of all everything. <clears throat> um, same with uh, just like religion. I mean, uh, people that say they're atheists and then uh, talk about it as if it's not <clears throat> a religion are fooling themselves. Uh, I mean, in, in athe for most of the atheists, well, what atheists? Atheists? Um, I mean, what is a religion but a belief system, a system of beliefs, a organizational structure of the do's and don'ts? Well, uh, they have their, uh, atheists generally have strong moral codes to live by. They're generally peaceable people, gentle people. Uh, uh, they can be also, um, I know, I know many atheists that are environmentalists and anti-war activists and, <clears throat> and, uh, and a lot, and some atheist groups basically, like Think Atheism on the, on the web, uh, basically are trying to attract everybody that's not decided upon religion. And the confusion, I think, comes in with people thinking that when you believe in something, then you're, you basically decided that everything else was not right. <laughs> everything else was lesser. And so, since they don't believe in, uh, since the, most athe atheists don't believe in <coughs> uh, Christianity or any of the religions, um, Abrahamic religions, any of them, uh, <coughs> that they think they're, they're not believing in anything. Or, or they think that the belief in those, the people that do believe in those, uh, believe in them exclusively. Everything in about them. A lot of people are born into, into what they believe. Even atheists. And, and don't believe. What they listen to and what they're willing not to listen to. What they make reasons for and have justifications for and what they don't have justifications for. The human kingdom is filled with this kind of behavior because none of them have it 100% right until all the members come from the level above human and bring it. And the crew comes and brings what is more real. <clears throat> that they do, a period they do periodically. And, uh... And the advantage of delving into religions, all of them, per se, you know, and uh, becoming an atheist, <coughs> going then going back to believing in spirits or paranormal or becoming a pagan or a, or you know a Hindu or a Hare Krishna or a, a, a Raelian or a, you know where you put you, you put uh, space aliens in the mix. The advantage is that you get a little bit of everything, or taste, and then when the real thing comes along, uh, if you're if you're actually uh, composed of uh, a thirsty a mind, then you have to take a look and see, even though uh, all those other groups, all those other groups, will to a degree be against what when the next level comes with their real information will be against it in some fashion because of what they do or or how they appear to society you know 
Uh, like, for instance, if they're not like uh, acting like Mother Teresa, then they can't be from Jesus. That's one of the misconceptions. Like, Jesus was entirely for uh, taking care of the sick and the ill. Uh, and the sick and the ill is the same thing. But, uh, and the, uh, so, so, what I'm, what I'm saying that I believe T and Doe were saying is that atheism, just like Christianity, just like everything, is a, is a stepping stone. It's a path. Like T and Doe always said that <clears throat> it's not, in the human kingdom, it's not what you get into, it's what you get out of. Okay? So like with when, when they bring something, basically what are they what's the first thing they say? Whenever a member from the next next level comes, they say you gotta leave everything behind. Even the way you think. Because we're gonna give you a whole new set of thinking. And here's some samples of it. In there in the first things they say at the meetings, they gave out a statement that were samples of the new thinking. And with that new thinking, there's gonna be new terminology. So everybody else that is counting on the old terminology and the old way of thinking and believing in it and insisting upon that's the way it is, uh, they're all going to, especially the ones that are making money off of it, they're all going to oppose this uh, new cult. It always has to be a cult, you know, or the equivalent of a cult, something that society is looking down on, and the authorities are looking down on, or fearful of. Uh, and, uh, so, so fine. Be an atheist. Uh, it's it's smart to not buy into all the religious programming. But then, if you accept that, you know, uh, I was going to call this show where they were talking about atheism on WRPI because uh, they've got some students there at the, the technical college that uh, do the radio show because they have a radio station there. And, uh, and I'm in the earshot of that, where I live, for now, for the moment, where I uh, reside, where I abode, my abode is. And uh, and these two students were there, uh, professing to be atheists and talking about um, why they're atheists. And uh, I was going to ask them, uh, which I didn't have time to do, if. Uh, if, what if you just believe in what Jesus said? Does that make you uh, an atheist? Does that make you a, a Christian? Does that make you a Hindu or a Buddhist or a Muslim or a Jew? To believe in what somebody in history said? Or is Jesus the one that doesn't exist for them because it was made up? And that uh, um, the idea that some atheists say that Christian uh, people that believe in religion are a mutation, a genetic mutation. It's funny that that's actually, I believe, accurate because because uh, you have to be given the chip set, the program, the programs to be able to uh, see as logical that this place was created, created evolutionarily created, step by step, scientifically, with technology. They got the technology to where they can send things to the sun, projectiles to the sun, maybe looking like to us like comets, that actually change the, the heat and the temperature of parts of the sun, and the frequencies that it puts out. I mean, that's heavy technology, okay? To be using comets as little uh, hydro uh, um, needles or, you know, ways of getting something into the organism or the structure of it. Anyway, signing out.